welcome back to the broadcast. When you hear the title of the book that our next guest wrote, it will absolutely make you laugh. It's called How to Succeed in Business Without Really Crying. So true, right? Especially if you're a business owner. Welcome to the show, Carol Leifer. Hi, Carol. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Let me tell you something. I love this book because you've taken all of your experience in comedy and television and you, you've you worked it in a way that I think it's really going to help people who are, who are running a business. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate it so much. You know, um, I really uh, appreciate your compliment. And I have to say, you know, I'm, I'm super complimented because you're not the first person that I'm hearing this from. It's so nice, you know, like when I publish a book, like my last book, you know, I usually slip it to a few friends right out of the gate and I gave it to a few girlfriends and it was great because they were like, love it, great Hollywood comedy dish, but can I get a copy for my kid because they're graduating college right. or high school, right. you know? And I really think they're gonna kind of get it from your book, so that's, you know, means the world to me. Yeah, because I think one of the lessons that you teach so well in this is just not to take everything so seriously. So a lot of people, Carol, may know you as um, your time writing for Seinfeld, for the show Seinfeld. And mm -hmm. um, you talk about that in the book uh, very specifically about how the show about nothing really taught you something. Can you share that with us? Absolutely. Um, you know, Seinfeld, working there, I, I mean, I doubt I'll ever have another experience, you know, as uh, out of this world as that one. I mean, they come along once in a lifetime. But I'm really grateful for the experience for so many reasons. But in particular, I talk in the book about how, you know, the show really taught me how to mine your own life for comedy ideas. And the ideas that I was lucky enough to get on the show you know, we're so female-based. Like, Elaine thinks that the Korean manicurists are talking about her behind her back in Korean. I mean, <laughs> I don't think a guy that. would have pitched that. <laughs> so, you know, to always, whatever job you're in, to uh, look at your life, your perspective as a female, and really use that to your advantage because there are so many advantages. And beyond that, you know, the show really taught me that I couldn't have worked for two better bosses. You know, at the top of the food chain, Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld were the most amazing uh, bosses, and I, you know, I think people would really be interested to know what great managers they were. They really ran a great ship. They were so fair. You know, I was always impressed that they didn't treat a crew member any different than a network suit. Um, they really had it down. So I've really also tried to emulate, you know, their managerial style because they were so great to work for. And definitely lessons to be learned all the way around. Uh, there is another uh, story. You talk about um, Frank Sinatra and opening for him and what he said that really had an impact for you. Yeah, you know, um, I tell the story about Frank Sinatra really in the context of my book. It's so much about, you know, I think to be successful, Anybody has to um, always assume that there's always going to be peaks and valleys in any career. I mean, no one's career ever goes along, you know, like that in a straight line. There's always these rough periods you have to manage. And I tell the story in the book because I was having, like, it was one of the worst periods of my stand-up career. I was working with this agent who was terrible. He was getting me gigs at comedy clubs, literally, that were on the Jersey Turnpike <laughs> in ground round restaurants <laughs> where people would eat peanuts, shelled peanuts, and throw the shells on the floor while I was performing. Uh, oh, no. And I just kind of kept my head down and tried to stay focused. And the next thing I knew, this agent, he was like an agent savant, you know, he got me this gig opening for Frank Sinatra. So I try to encourage people, like, whatever field you're in, always keep your head down and keep working because out of the deepest valley can come the greatest moment of your career, like opening for Frank Sinatra. So, you know, to me, it's really a big, it's a, like a life lesson as well. Carol, before I let you go, what do you hope the one thing, uh, especially for, for business owners, because, you know, I want to say it's, it's a great read just because it's funny and your stories are very, very interesting. Um, Thank you. But Thank for you. the business world, I really think people can get a lot, especially about you know using humor in everyday life and especially in a management skill what what do you hope that people get out of this well I think you know they'll get a lot of stuff out of it I mean you know basically I wanted to write the book that I wish I had had when I was starting out so hopefully I've created that for you know anybody else who wants to come up in in show business or in any business because I really feel like I shared some of my greatest stuff and have it all in one book
Well, I'll tell you what, this coffee that I have is going to my soon-to-be 21-year-old son who, uh, you know, Yay. in the next year will be graduating college, and I think it's really going to help him as well. So thank you so much for Terrific. being with us. Love hearing that. Thank you, Lisa. And good luck with the book. It really is a good read.